Governor Doug Burgum took to X after the incident. He writes, quote, please join Catherine and me in praying for former for praying for former President Trump, his family and everyone attending the rally today. He also said, quote, we all know President Trump is stronger than his enemies. Today, he showed it. Now, Burgum was set to join Trump along with his vice presidential competitors in Milwaukee for the Republican National Convention on Monday. North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer also took to X saying, quote, we are grateful to God President Trump is okay and mourn this senseless tragedy. It's time to unite in prayer for our nation. Senator John Hoven also saying in part, quote, Mikey and I are praying for former President Trump's swift recovery and must join together to condemn violence. Montana Senator John Tester also spoke out saying in part, quote, I'm appalled by the violence at the political rally in support of former President Trump. There is absolutely no place for political violence in America. Now, both sides of the aisle are condemning the attack. President Joe Biden was in church in Delaware at the time shots were fired at the rally. But shortly after, Biden left to share remarks on the situation. He says he's been thoroughly briefed on the shootings, and he says he's trying to talk with Trump but hasn't been able to reach him, but says Trump is apparently doing well. Biden says there's no place in America for this kind of violence. When Biden was asked if he thought this was an assassination attempt, he says he did not know enough to have an opinion. And Mr. Biden wasn't the only Democrat to share concern for the former president. Vice President Kamala Harris was among those to remark on Trump's con condition, saying in part, quote, Doug and I are relieved that he is not seriously injured. We are praying for him, his family, and all those who have been injured and impacted by this senseless shooting.